All right, guys, today we're gonna do another wood video. We got an old, old deck. I mean, this is probably 20, 30 years old. It has a stain that was put on it and the stain's coming off. It looks like crap. Uh, the wood, I mean, you can tell right here, the wood isn't in the best of shape, but just so we can get an idea of how this stuff is gonna work. We're gonna wash it. We're gonna let it set. What I'm gonna put on this is sodium hydroxide. I've seen some really good results on it. So uh, what I wanna do is sit back, take a picture of this deck, what it looks like now. You got all this dark stain. That's where we keep a, a toy box here. And uh, you know, I just wanna just experiment. What I'm gonna do is, is mix up the sodium hydroxide. I think it's eight, out, eight ounces to a gallon and uh, spray it on. Let it set for 10, 15 minutes, you know the drill. And then uh, come back with a 25, 20 rinse. I think it's a 25, 25 is my, my rinse tip on my J-Rod. And then uh, follow it up with oxalic. So I'll show you what that looks like. All right, now what I got now is my sodium hydroxide mixed up. Uh, they say it can be a bomb and you can tell it definitely changes colors. So just be careful mixing these things. I mixed it in a, a pump up sprayer and started around, but I think it would have been better if I would have put it in a bucket and then mixed it around. Uh, definitely got my gloves on just because I've never used this stuff before. And I uh, ain't trying to make any bombs and I ain't trying to make any crazy gas. So I'm gonna wet this down and then spray it on. All right, we got the sodium hydroxide put on and uh, looks like it's doing a little bit of something. I don't really see a whole lot happening with the stain. Maybe it'll loosen up when I rinse it. I don't know. It's just it's kind of something new to me, uh, but we'll show you what it looks like. All right, that's what it looks like with uh, our first application of the wood stripper. I mean, I don't plan on getting into any deck stripping jobs. I'll just tell you that right now. Uh, but we still have some remaining stain on here. Actually, I think this was paint. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure this was paint. I could be wrong. It may have been deck. But anyway, uh, or maybe in stain. So what I'm gonna do, because some of it did loosen up, you know, uh, I mean, it cleaned the wood. You can see this wood. I'm really pleased with that. But just along the edges here, where the uh, toy box was, and then some over there, it just didn't come out that good. So I went ahead and mixed up some more, and I'm gonna apply it to those areas and see what that does. All right, guys, one, you know I'm not a wood expert. Now, first off, this is wet, and this looks amazing compared to what it was. But two, you can still see some of the paint. And I guess a stripper doesn't work for paint. I could be wrong on that, but after I got working on this deck and this wasn't coming up, I realized that maybe I'm missing something. <laughs> Then I start seeing all these guys with these scrubbers that are doing paint, uh, paint the decks. They're scrubbing all the paint off. Now maybe if it was a, a deck stain, it would have just bubbled up and came off with a pressure washer. Uh, I'm not gonna eat the wood up trying to get it off, but 
But anyway, more than anything, I cleaned the wood. It needed cleaned. I wanted to see the difference in the hydroxide and the percarbonate. Still going to have some brown there, which, you know, going to have my toy box back on it. But uh, fixing to hit this with some oxalic and we'll be done with it. Here you go. Still a little wet. Definitely looks better than it did. All right, guys, this is what we got dry. Still got a little wet spot here on these rotted pieces of boards. It's still wet, but this is what we got big 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 difference looks tremendously better if you were gonna stain it you can knock that paint off if not just stain over it but uh anyway just wanted to show you guys what it looks like dry because there's always somebody that wants to know we'll catch you next time